Seattle's a fantastic writing city. The bookstores are very supportive. The, the city itself is a very literate community here. And I have a little group of friends here who write in the same genre. They all have their own spin on it. We call ourselves Team Seattle. And it's really great just to have people who know what you're doing. It's the closest you can come as an author to having coworkers. The era of Jack Nicholson typing alone in his room is, is gone. Authors are connected to each other. We're connected to our fans. And so things like Twitter, Facebook, it's a good way to reach out, regardless of what you're trying to do, if you're trying to get people to your signings or let them know about a new release. This whole new wave of social media has just changed the face of how authors promote. I, I grew up reading mythology books like crazy. From a very early age, I was making my own picture books. I, I drew little comic books. I drew all kinds of short stories. And what's become fun about the Succubus series is there, there's been a shift from what interested me. And what you almost have now in the Georgina series is these supernatural creatures being impacted by humans because they, they are out there and they're living amongst them and some of them want to be human again. And so I, I've kind of taken what I always loved and, and turned it on its head a little. The succubus is traditionally a female demon who seduces men and either kills them or steals their souls. What intrigued me to make a succubus my main character, however, was the idea of how did someone who does this for their existence go on to have a relationship? How do you fall in love? How do you function when this is your existence? Sex for souls for all of eternity. Ultimately, what's really great about the series is that the lines are so blurred between the immortal fantastic characters and the humans, and it makes you start to wonder what is real, what is good, what is evil. If these forces are there out in the world, are they really all that different from us? And so I, I sort of want people to walk away thinking about this, questioning what we think of as boundaries and, and if they're really there.